tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. And so as we get into today's episode, women's voices through their craft, I just like to say that's really about time. Tapag pag usapan natin ang topic na to, I know we've tackled hints of it in some of our previous episodes, especially where it ladies, yung mga guests natin sa show. But today, today ha, we're finally gonna focus on the topic of women empowerment. And because this advocacy is so wide and it's so close to my heart, I'm extending it even after this episode by launching a series called Women's Voices wherein we'll discuss and celebrate the unique stories and triumphs of women from all walks of life. Para every now and then, we can look back at the importance of the advocacy of women empowerment through the lens of amazing women in different fields. Strictly, hashtag, women support women tayo dito sa Beauty in a Box. And to kickstart our Women's Voices series, we'll be taking beauty, lifestyle, and women empowerment from the perspective of women in the creative media field. Today, I will be joined with two talented women who are just absolutely killing it in the industry with their wits and creative skills and content. And they truly embody what it means to be a woman and a brave and bold one at that, as seen in their work styles and content. Now it's time to invite in our special guest for this afternoon. Let me welcome our first guest. We have portrait, fashion, and lifestyle photographer. We have Andrea Belgua. Hello. Hi, Andrea. Welcome to Pick in a Box. Good afternoon, girl. Good afternoon. I love it. Oh, ba? Matching ang gamit natin siya your hair. <laughs> the girl with the pink hair. So let's complete our group for today. So let's call on digital creator, radio DJ, and host, and fashionista. We have Jazz Reyes. Hi! Hello, Hi, Jazz! Ayan! So, good afternoon to you both. You look so beautiful, both of you. And talagang happy Saturday. So let's get, uh, time to delve into some moral and discuss what having the power of being a woman is. How would you define or understand what women empowerment is? is? But you know, we all have our own uh, way of e- explaining it. I think I, I agree that everybody has their definition of women empowerment. And I yes. think the, the, the most obvious ones, I don't have to reiterate. But I do want to point out that women empowerment is also uh, parang what's forgotten is the allyship of women and men with women empowerment. That mm-hmm. men is not out of the equation with women empowerment. Yes. Yes. The like, no. oh, oh. Very, oh, tao. Yes. I like what you said, Jazz. Because when we usually talk about women empowerment, we tend to forget that um, parang we tend to exclude nga na, it's just women. But no, we try. We really have to involve every gender, every everyone, yeah. every, all kinds of people um, have to be part of what it is to, uh, to be part of the advocacy of women empowerment. Talaga. But to you, um, Andrea, like we have to also acknowledge na wala ang pinapakinggan talaga for the longest time are men it's always their voices na nangingibabaw sila lagi yung nagsasalita sila lagi yung nagbibigyan ng platform sila lagi yung pinaniniwalaan so parang the fact na you know kaya nga diba may feminism kasi for the longest time may systematic uh-huh. oppression up until now kaya parang for me sobrang importante yung sinabi ni Just kasi they also, parang hindi pwedeng men against women. Yeah. Kasi nga, parang, ba? Kasi kailangan nila tayong tulungan na madinig din. And kailangan nila i-acknowledge yung privilege nila 
of always having been there. Totoo yan, Andrea. Like, I like how you said nga din. Kasi, you know how, for the longest time, it's so, it's it's crazy how we're still have, we still have to parang voice out, still have to fight for it. And gabi, ilang years na natin to pang sinagalaban. Siguro, even before we were born, there have been, like, a lot of women, great women who have been fighting, like, you no, know, women aren't, um, there's not, no such thing as women versus men. We have, to, we're equal. We're, we're equal, not, hindi lang puro, like, lalaki lang ang, ang mas malakas, hindi lang lalaki ang mas matapang. No, women, we're strong! We are as strong as you guys. Kayo, you both like really put out good um product, uh, good content, good products. No? Focus ako on making just fashion lifestyle photos, which I still enjoy doing. But parang like I mentioned ever since the pandemic, parang I had I had a time where I had to reflect on what I've been putting out and if I'm happy with it, and then I'm just reflect on me and parang. Or the R ideas that I thought about a really long time ago, pa. Pero hindi ko lang shop din ako kita, kasi it's either shy or you know, yes. shy or too embarrassed to show it. Kasi parang it's, my mind works in a really weird way. That's like how I felt about it. And I spoke to, well, I spoke to a friend, and parang I reflected that I'm not really me and my there's, there's no voice. Like, there's no. Yes. I feel like I don't go into a shoot like thinking na parang ano kaya yung statement ko dito ano kaya yung parang parang kung bato gagawin ni department blah 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 I yeah. don't go into you know shoots like that I feel like parang it's so natural lang for me kasi to always feel like it is my job to mm-hmm. make the subject feel their most beautiful in that moment yeah. oh. in how I'm capturing them my number one, number one goal talaga. Yeah, I've always wondered Parang, nga eh, pag sa photographers then, how do you make the models feel like they're best? Ha? Diba kasi of course, yung mga mo- they're the ones, sila yung subject mo eh, pero ikaw yung parang, ikaw yung nag-direct, ikaw yung the one behind the camera. So you're the one who's parang directing them talaga, okay, you should uh, parang better yung post dito. But how do you um, make the parang the subject, the model, feel more na, diba, yung beautiful? So, that's what I wonder then eh, sa mga photographers eh, like, Lalo na kasi you can see it through photos. Lalo na mga photos, they give off mga for emotions. So how do you do that as a photographer? Like, ito, gawin I mo think, to. Yan. Oh, I think my, parang for the longest time kasi I've always been interested in beauty and you know, what, mm-hmm. what makes people beautiful, what makes a face beautiful. Ganon. Parang it's my, it's really my um interest in the female body that I feel like um, gives me a leg up on yes. photographing females, women, di ba? Kaya parang I women. know what, parang, parang kahit hindi kita kilala, feeling ko pag nag tayo, I would know your style and confident. Kasi iba talaga yung, yung stiffness na parang conscious sila na parang, oh, okay ba to? Okay ba to? Mukha ba? Kitang-kita yun. And I think it, it's really my job to to make them feel relaxed. Ito, some photos of Andrea, no? So, ito, like, we'll just show ah! some of it. Ah, yeah, paka! Yes, yes. Pero ito, I just wanna show, like, this Instagram post. I love this. Like, a very relatable tong Instagram post ni, uh, ni Andrea. Hello! <laughs> you know, diba? Like, should I quit social media? It's so toxic and perfect. But, of course, when you feel it, diba? Diba? Totoo yan. Yung mga viewers siya, huwag kayo mag-deny-deny, diba? Sample lang ng mga work na. Diba? Let's just go through it. Yan. Pack o. Oh, diba? How do you do that? Yung parang, God, because you're the one, I'm sure you're the one who has to give off the, I love parang, what you're saying. Some of these that you showed are, like, unlocked. Yes, so, parang, wala, wala siya na choice, ha? That's, I think that's much more difficult than, like, when it's, like, all your control. So, the second side yes. of the show, I think that, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that's, that's in a studio, but the 
first the first and the last one is on lock so to create something so beautiful like that it's really i i find it's so hard. tricky i don't know how she does it ako ha sabihin ko lang yung mga on lock hindi yung mga studio yun yung favorite ko alam mo photography is problem solving i always say, i always say that oh, no. diba? i think really it's my job to make the people feel like they are empowered so, word of the yes. day yes yeah and and beautiful kasi hindi talaga lalabas na maganda ka kung hindi mo feel at that, that moment na maganda ka gets ba parang i have to bring that ggs as energy on set always yes so para kay hawaan kay sa set na okay ganda ganda i have to feel it myself hawaan tayo dito sa set na ggs sign na kahit ba parang ganun na lang yun eh <laughs> so if you have that feeling then parang kasi parang naka down if someone feels like parang oh today i feel so blah 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 parang di ba so hawaan kay sa set para may isang may nagdarong feeling di ba so it has to come from someone then para yung buong vibe siguro ng set niyo or in sa studio or alak niyo very ano kayo so, hawaan na lang kayo ng energy so i think it's that i like that when you bring the ggss energy <laughs> bring that G- ggss how do you maximize your platform stay creative when we voice out for things especially what you care about no? so kay jazz no we can actually kay jazz we can really touch on things that you've shared online kasi you're very witty ka especially now nag- really nag heighten yung mga posts mo especially nung ngayon sa pandemic like girl very relatable yung mga content mo and like friendly to the ear yung mga spin up posts mo mas nakaka mas mas nababasa ng mga tao talaga like the way you put out your captions so it's so witty so we can show some of their samples of kay jazz no like yung parang some of her posts sa Instagram niya kay jazz kasi okay. you can really maximize oo oh, oh. uh, show and tell oo oh, oh. so parang yes go jazz pack ah oh, diba parang ito lang yun diba yeah oh very creative so yung yan the second this one Uh-oh. I this because that was the day na um, nagkaroon ng, parang I don't know, there was a leak in the list of people or you Oh, my dummy accounts, girl. Oh, oh, oh that thing. Yung atang of the cutons. Yes, at saka ng cutons talaga mo. So, I was like, okay, this is a fun way to kind of hope at it. Parang subtle, ganon. Pero yeah. may power, ganon. Oh. Yung pagka-post mo eh. Yeah, yeah. It's usually... I have, like, there's just three things involved that I try... That I try to involve all the time. It's, I guess, uh, something that makes you stop scrolling. Kasi, may yung tao mag-scroll lang. Ganyan lang. So, Oo, oh, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan din ako sa Instagram. Ganyan din lang, diba? Oh, so, first, nakakasita ka ng ganyang same. parang content. Stop! Oh, oh first, wanna stop lang. Oh, I don't even need... Oh. Oh, I like that. Stop, look, and listen lang. Ganon. Yeah, if you comment, that that's great. But if you don't, it's okay. But just stop. But then the second is, ano pa talaga yung nangyayari? And if you think about it, whether you agree or you don't, I, as long as you react to it. And then, um, last but not least, fashion. Because I love fashion. Uh-oh. Ayan nga, mga samples din yan. Fashion nga, actually, you have another one. Yung mga fashion mo eh. Mami kang mga... I love it. Some of them are just more social. This type. It's really rooted on on feelings though. On feelings. Papa! Papa! Yes. DMs that I get like trying to actually talk to these people online I have absolutely no idea where they came from but then they'll talk and then we'll talk and then we'll try to discuss some ideas whether it's polarizing or in whether it's the same but, uh, it, I mean it, it, it went crazy because of the, this one this particular one went crazy and it's which one? Lalo na to. Oh, oh. yeah I made this in like 5 minutes Oh, wow, five minutes lang yan. The, 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 the hashtag yeah. we have a post. This one. This, girl, this really blew up on the internet. Yeah, they made this in like... It's like a typography, though. Oh. It's so cute. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.